Yeah, so the major difference with this camera is that the lens is actually inside there. The electronics are built around the lens. The front of the lens is there. The back of the lens is here. And those are the camera tubes pointing into a prism at the back of the lens. So instead of having the camera with all the electronics and then the lens at the front, you have the lens inside. And that means that the distance from the cameraman to the front of the lens is much shorter than other cameras of the time. And that's why cameramen like them. In a studio, they could get into smaller spaces. You could squeeze into a little corner and work the camera and you didn't get stuck by the furniture. And also, when the camera pans round, because it's shorter, you don't get the idea of the camera sweeping in an arc. It's much more a sense of turning on itself, which is more natural. So as a cameraman, which, which cameras did you prefer working on? Well, I worked with these at Yorkshire TV in the 1970s. I worked on Emmerdale when it first started. Um, they did a, a series drama every week, things like uh, Main Chance, uh, Hadley. Um, can't remember a lot of them, but th that was their regular output. And then once a week they did a comedy show, um, Les Dawson, which is called Says Les, uh, and some other comedies. So it was a busy studio working seven days a week. Two plays of three days each and then a comedy in between. And the same cameras working all the time. Um, engineers say they're not such a good picture, but they're good for a cameraman because, as explained before, when the camera's up high, the cameraman can crouch down if he wishes to, but if he doesn't, he could just tilt the viewfinder up and stand like that. And so that makes life easier to put the camera where you want it and the viewfinder where you want it. And that can be adjusted with a friction. And it's more compact than the Philips. Yeah, I don't think many studios use those Philips. Um, these were the popular, but I think it's because the BBC signed a contract for a job lot, so they had hundreds of them. It was a colour camera which is not much bigger than the last generation of black and white cameras. And the very first colour cameras that came out, the big fear was they would be very, very heavy and bulky, and cameramen wouldn't be able to use them. So these, these were a delight. There's also another, I'll show you something. Um, a thing that we call the shot box, which is a way of pre-setting a certain angle. That camera has it where the cameraman's left hand is. It's a box here. And you pre-set shots in a box. This one has it here. And the, and the big advantage of that, it's very easy. The cameraman's on one shot, he can press that button and auto focus, press another button on it. It's right there where you need it. You can control the camera. I've even seen in drama people working like that with a the thumb there. So they, they pre-set up shots on, on, on Yeah, buttons. yeah. You would set on a set. Say there's a group of people. You would set a size of shot for the group, then another size for two or three people, and then a shot for two people, and then a close-up. And when it was time to change shot, you just knew which one. It was that one. Now a close-up. Now back to the wide shot, now a close up, and you could have just focused there like that. So that's a very efficient way of changing shots. Yeah, it's quicker than actually doing it on the zoom because this is an accelerator control, so the further you push it, the faster it goes. If you're not careful, you'll overshoot. You've got to do something quickly, you overshoot, and then you come back and you, you do a lot of fiddling. If you just press it there, the machine goes to it. And you adjust them on there. Um, there's another little thing here, those switches had to have those little guards around them so that they weren't caught accidentally. One of them is for the heaters, which are the heaters in the tubes, and they are put off when the camera is stored overnight. If you catch them accidentally and the heaters go off, uh, the camera goes off as well. And these here are microphones to talk to the gallery. Um, you don't want to catch that accidentally, so they had to put a guard around them.